Hello guys, in today's video I am going to be talking about a full 100% guide or a beginner's guide to the Hunter Cult of the Wild. Now, this is a 6 year old game, so almost 6 year old. And I just want to go ahead and say, if you're coming into this game now, the, the, hunter, the, the hunter Call of the Wild has a giant community, but we are pretty open. So, basically, there's a lot, this game is relatively complicated, to a degree. Um, Expensive Worlds has done a great job with this game, but they have made it extremely complicated. Not extremely, there's there's more complicated games out there, but this is a very complicated game. So I am going to just give you your first uh, tips here. So, first thing I want to talk about, in the beginner's guide, whenever you come into the game, you're going to, assuming you don't have any DLCs or anything, you're going to be at Leighton Lakes. Actually, I believe now it asks you if you want to go to Hirschfeld or Leighton Lakes. I suggest coming to Leighton Lakes here, and you're going to spawn right here. This is where you're going to spawn. Now, um, I just want to show you the basics. Um, if you are at that spot, I recommend pausing the game and listening here. So, the first thing I do want to talk about is the HUD. Now, let me load in real quick. Sorry, guys. <laughs> that was not a very good time to load in. The first thing I want to talk about is the HUD. Now, if you look down into the bottom right, you will see a compass and ig ignore the dog that says idling uh, you will not have a dog when you come in this is something with DLCs don't worry about it assuming you don't have any DLCs next to the comp well first of all this little green cone right here I know a lot of people think it's an animal indicator I've heard that several times so like because in a lot of mobile games and stuff like that, it's, it has to give you a little bit of tips. This is a a very popular, realistic hunting game. They don't have an animal indicator, okay? Some of y'all thought that's what that was. No. The little green cone is to show which direction the wind is blowing. So, um, if, if there's an animal downwind of me, downwind, that's what that means, that it's that way, as you can see in the compass. That means it's going to smell me. Now, if it's super, super far away, it's not going to smell me. But if it's anywhere, you know, even close, it is going to smell you. And that is one way the animals can detect you and will get attentive or alert. And eventually, if you get close enough, they will run away. Most likely, they'll trot away if you're not super close. But if they smell you immediately and right next to them, they will run. doesn't matter if they see you or not. If they smell you. They're gone. So, that's one way the animals can detect you. So, there's north, west, south, east. I don't know why I said it in that order. But anyway, beside that is a little icon that shows what's in your hand. Which right now is your phone or hunter mate. Now, to change what's in your hand on console, that should be holding up arrow. And you'll get this weapon wheel. Or, if you just press up air, you can use your uh, left and right to switch between these. This used to be, like, the only way to do it, um, but recently they came out with a weapon wheel, which I'm very thankful for. So, for us console players, this is a huge buff. Now, whenever you come into the game, you are going to have a few things, but the only thing you're really going to need are your binoculars. Which you should spawn in with the Vantage 8x2, 8x42, sorry, binoculars. Um, that's really important. So that's one of the things you're going to really need. And you're also going to need this guy right here, the Ranger 243. Mine's obviously going to look a lot more different than yours because mine's customized and everything. It has a night vision scope on it because I forgot to take it off. But... You are going to spawn in with a really bad scope and this gun right here. Now, um, what the game does pretty much, whenever you spawn in, there should be like a little free tea buck right in front, or it was a doe. 
for me. I, I'm not sure if they randomized it or if they changed it. But usually it'll give you a little free guy that'll, a free woman, I guess, <coughs> that will pop up right in front of you and it will give you a free shot. The game does not do this at any other point. Don't think it's that easy. I'm sorry, but <laughs> it's a lot harder. You're going to get a free shot. The game just spawns one right in front of you and you get to take a shot. It doesn't even tell you about it, but if you see it, shoot it in the vitals. That's, I, that's the next thing. I'm going to talk about <coughs> the vitals, uh, or organs, as the game likes to call it, are all over the body, obviously. Um, so are the bones. This game does not have the greatest ana like human anatomy of all time. There's a few games, hunting games, that are a little bit better. Way the Hunter is about the most detailed you're going to get. It's insanely detailed with arteries and all kinds of stuff. Stanley's game does not have that, but honestly, I don't think you really need all that to know the anatomy of animals. It's pretty similar on all animals. Now, in hunting, especially deer hunting, most always, you are going to want to shoot an animal in the lungs. Now, there's a moose right here, so I'm going to show you exactly where the lungs are. Uh, this was not even planned, but I might as well show you while I'm here. The... Here, let me get a little bit better, better, uh, clear, here, I can show you on this guy right here, a clear angle. The lungs on all animals, including deer, the one that I'll give you a free shot for, are right above one of the front legs, pretty much, and a little bit back, but if you aim just above the front legs and behind the shoulder, See if I can find that moose to show you guys. That'd be nice. We're not. That's okay. Basically, it is right um, above, like I said, the legs, the front legs. So that's where you want to aim for a good 85, and not not that much, about 80-ish percent of the animals in this game. Which I also should admit, uh, should um, just say that uh, there are, I think, about 80-something animals in this game. So that's a lot of animals that you're going to want to aim there most of the time. There are some animals, it doesn't matter where you want to aim, but if you do hit it <coughs> like a deer in the leg, and for some reason it dies... It will not give you integrity. Basically, integrity is like a hunter's way of saying you didn't make the animal suffer and it was a good clean shot. Um, headshots on a lot of animals are um, fine. As long as you hit a vital organ and it doesn't take them very long to die, you'll get bonuses and stuff like that. So, basically, I know in a lot of... Uh, like combat games like Call of Duty and stuff, which y'all are probably used to, I am too, <laughs> you do not want to shoot that many animals in the head in this game. It's not really what hunters do, to be honest. And uh, that's a big misconception. Everybody thinks, oh, a headshot's a kill shot. Well, guess what? You shoot them one time in the head, a, a moose has a really, really, or a, or a deer, has a really strong skull, and a lot of times it won't get all the way through it, and it will not kill it in the brain, which a human's brain is a lot bigger. That's why people shoot other people in the head in, like, Call of Duty and stuff. But and whenever you're shooting animals, the brain's a lot smaller, so it's a lot harder to target, and you're probably not going to be able to hit it. Like I said, there are some uh, animals, but that is fine. Like bears, it's fine to shoot them in the head. Moose, it's sort of fine. Uh, there's some other animals, but deer, no. So whenever you get that first free shot it gives you, you are going to be using a low power, a low power rifle. But if you aim right above the front legs and a little further back than that, then just like if you take the the very middle of the body and up a tiny bit, if you aim right there, that is perfect. That's exactly where the lungs are. And basically, the, oh, 
there's a turkey. <laughs> um, if you shoot right there, that's where the lungs are. And if you have a high powered enough rifle, then it'll go through both of the lungs, and the animal will go like a few steps and drop, or you'll kill it right away. Sometimes just the bullet goes all the way through and you straight just drop them. Uh, that does not always happen though, so be get get ready to be able to track something. Now I may actually get a chance at a turkey here. But anyway. There is also um there's animal type as you can see. It, uh up in the top right, or whenever I click on a track, uh poop, um tracks, blood, anything like that. In the top right, it will, here, let me get this example again. It'll tell you the species. It'll tell you how old the droppings are, or if, if it was a, a track, how fast they were going. And then if you look at the very top right of the top right little thing up there, it says one and a rabbit. That is the animal's uh, type, pretty much. Um... Basically, the higher that number is, the bigger the animal classifies it as being. So, and uh, turkeys, pretty weak little birds. Um, they are class one. That's the lowest in the game. They are um, not alone with ducks and um, sorry, rabbits and things like that. Um, so, yeah. There's tons of different animal types, so don't try to go kill a moose with the beginner rifle. It's not going to kill it, unless you shoot it like 10 times, which I doubt that would be possible. But, I mean, if you can, I don't really care. More power to you. You can do anything. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just giving you a ton of tips because, God, this game is more complicated than people think. Oh, just shoot some animals. No. And here's another example of about where you should aim or not okay never mind I thought I'd be able to get one to go broadside so I could show you but basically right above the shoulder there um or behind the shoulder sorry above the leg now I just want to quickly briefly go over DLCs if you don't like this game and this is the first time playing it I don't recommend buying them I'm going to be completely honest, I don't want you to buy uh, into things that you don't like. But, if you play this game even for a little bit, and you're like, hmm, I wonder how fun it would be to have an actual good gun <laughs> and play on actual fun maps. Well, look no further, because there are about 25 DLCs in this game. Plenty to choose from. Mostly maps and weapon packs and stuff. I just want to show you a quick brief map of the current right now. There's actually a new map coming out in Australia, but that's not out yet. There are 13 maps. In the very beginning of the game, you have access to a grand total of two of those maps. Lake and Lake Districts, this guy right here, and Hirschfeld and Honey Reserve right here um all the other maps you have to pay for it's not super uh this is the only one i don't have it's not super expensive now notice i'm only level 17 there's 60 levels in this game and my other account got um I'm, if, if you follow my channel you know my other account got corrupted that really sucks because i have about 500 hours in this game but that's okay that's not a whole lot um Considering that a lot of other people have thousands and thousands of hours in this game. It's a very grindy game for those people who want to. Now, I'm getting a little off track here. What I'm saying is, if you can, a map is $8. A weapon pack is, I think, about 4 So, if you like the game, and you think you could invest to it, and you have $8 laying around, I suggest buying a map. What map do I suggest buying? The most fun map. Literally everybody in the Hunter Call of the Wild agrees that it is a top three map at least. Silver Ridge Peaks. This was a map that came out about two years ago. And the game is six years old. So it's recently new. But they only started making maps about three and a half years ago. So still one of the older maps. Um, 
this map is very fun, okay? It's actually the biggest map in the game, just by a little bit. As you can see, this map is massive. But Silver Ridge is a tiny bit bigger just because of the expansive mountains and stuff. The expansive worlds made the map a tiny bit bigger just so they'd be able to fit all that into it. And it is by far, in my opinion, the most fun map. And a lot of other creators say that as well. And that may or may not be a melanistic black bear. I think that's another thing we should go about. There are fur types in this game and rarities. And that guy looked super black. I wonder if that's Mel. I don't know if I dropped him. Um, so there are fur types in this game. I did drop him. Oh, that's a good shot. Uh, that shot right there on bears, whenever they stand up, the very chest is where the heart is. And uh, it's a very small target, but um, a lot of people can hit it. I guess I absolutely, that was a perfect shot. I guess I hit the heart perfectly. Um, basically, this, this rifle, if, if you guys are wondering, is the 6.5mm. Uh, this is another thing to go about. In the DLC maps, whenever you buy the map, it comes with a gun. Some of Sometimes it's free, sometimes it's not. Um, the 6.5, however, I believe came with Quattro Cleanus. But, uh, as you can, oh, wow, he was, he was turning to me, okay. Sometimes this happens, the game gets a little buggy, because the black bear was turning towards me, and it says, but anyway, still kind of buggy again, but that's okay. Now, there's also missions, do I suggest doing the missions? Uh, they're, they're fun. Wow, that was loud. Whenever you actually go through the game, yeah, I think it's pretty fun to do it. Um, as you can see, I haven't even done the harvesting animal thing on Layton Lakes. I don't play Layton that much. That's why I suggest uh, buying one of the DLCs, because the first two maps are the oldest, and to be honest, the some of the least fun. Now, if you see a map that looks appealing, I suggest asking somebody about it first that plays the game because a lot of the maps that even are cool things like New England Mountains, this map absolutely sucks, okay? It sucks. I'm sorry. Or uh, Parquet Fernando, also probably my least favorite map in the entire game. I'm just saying, you could go with like Verhunga, which is a great map. Um, Run into the coast is mid. Tail Road is a great map. Yukon Valley is a great map. Silver Ridge Peaks is an insanely good map. Um, Rancho Del Arroyo, this is a Mexico map. This is one of the sort of newer ones. That is a great map. Mississippi, uh, this, this map may actually look really cool. It has alligators and everything. You may think it's really cool. I love it personally, but um, maybe it's just me because... Everybody I know in the Hunter Call of the Wild community kind of hates this map. Why? I don't know. They say it is repeatable, but the maps they say it's repeatable after, I don't really play that much. So maybe that's why I think it's fun. I don't know. Anyway, that should be a lot covered. But if you have any more questions, I'd be great to answer in the comments. But I do want to quickly go over... The outpost and stuff. Now, the the reason why I waited to the end of the video is because the game kind of explains it to you um, in the tutorial, like kind of the first missions kind of thing. It tells you to go get an outpost, go get a lookout. The lookouts are all over the map. Basically, what they do is they make a big circle of explored area, and it'll show you all the outposts and stuff that are in that circle. Um, that's basically all they do. Outposts. I mean, lookouts are really not great. I don't even know why people... They're, they're kind of stupid, honestly. Really, the one thing you want to go for is the outpost, which you can fast travel and do everything with. The outposts are really important. 
but the lookout points are kind of mid. Obviously, some of the pros at this game that I've been playing it for literally the day it came out and never stopped playing it since, like uh, Flinter. You can go watch some of his videos. Great videos. Obviously, he has literally everything in the game. I mean, why wouldn't he? He has played this game a lot longer than I have, but I still have played it uh, since I was about, what? What has it been? Six years old now? Um, I'm 12 now. No. No. I think I was about seven. It might have been for, I remember getting it for my birthday. But anyway, that is quite a bit. I think that is everything. Except I do want to say one thing real quick. Please like the video. Also, also, don't leave yet. Let's talk about ammo types real quick. Uh, like I said, uh, every animal has a like a uh, class. That's that's. I keep forgetting what they're called. They're called classes. So if I go to black tail deer, it says you right there in the top top right. It says four and has a little boar on it. That's just like the symbol. Every single class has a symbol. Uh, there's one through nine, and I also want to talk about something right after this also. So, the, if you go into the codex and you're looking to hunt a specific animal for some reason, it gives you a ton of information about all the animals. So, if you do want that, just hop over here to the codex, and literally every single animal from A to Z, um, in alphabetical order, is in uh, the codex so hop in here and take a look at all the animals and if you're looking for anything specific gives you a ton of situation where to find them you know what you should use when they're active stuff like that um this game is very detailed so if you're a real hunter and you do hunt in real life try to use some of the same tactics and I guarantee you they will probably work because the game is very detailed, and it is made by real hunters, so I do suggest that. Um, the last thing I really want to talk about is difficulty. Now, if you spot an animal with your binoculars, it shows you difficulty. It says two minor for a moose. Now, every animal has a different max difficulty, is what I'm trying to say. The the lowest the lowest um class animals go up to a level three. Okay, level three is very easy. So most people, whenever they play this game for the first time, and if they come across like a level three rabbit, and they say, "Oh, it's, that, that thing's tiny. It's only a very easy." Well, that's the diamond. Yeah, this game is kind of weird with that. Um. Basically, the little animals, like rabbits, birds, stuff like that, they go all the way up to level 3, and that's it. If it's a level 3, it's probably a diamond. Sometimes you can get trolled, which is basically where there's a small percent of chance that a max level animal is not a diamond. That does happen. But... Uh, it doesn't happen very much, so if you see something like that, probably a diamond. So, if I see a level 3, uh, oh, also, not just the tiny animals. If you see a level 3 white-tailed deer, please shoot it. That's also a diamond. Yeah, I know. Super weird. All the other deer and stuff go up to level 5, so I don't know why the game does that. It's really weird about it. Um, but like boar and stuff like that go up to level 5. black tail deer go up to level 5. Pretty much everything else goes up to level 5. There are a few animals that go up to level 3. Um, but like if you see a level 2 anything, uh, that's a male, there's a very good chance it only goes up to level 3. Okay. And then you have the high difficulty animals. That go up to a level 9, which is legendary. So, I feel like I should go through the, the numbers real quick. 1 is trivial, 2 is minor, 3 is very easy, 4 is easy, 
Five is medium. Six is hard, I believe. I'm, I'm just going off the dome with this. Six is very hard. No. Five is medium. Six is hard. Seven is very hard. Eight is mythical. And nine is legendary. Now, if you see an animal, it, it happens. If you happen to see an animal with a level 10 rating, that's a great one. Okay, what that is, is the game has done something weird with that, and they basically have made great one animals, which are insanely uh, rare animals that you rarely ever find. Um, there are people who go thousands of kills grinding to get one to spawn, and uh, some of the pros in this game have only killed a, a few because they are that hard diamonds are like one in a hundred chance golds are like one in fifth no like one in 30 or something no no no, no. it's not even that bad it's like one in 20 diamonds are like one in a hundred silvers i don't know probably like one in three one in two i don't know um Basically, there are a select few uh, animals in the game that also can, the females, can actually be diamonds. Gimsbok are one of them on Africa. There's like these weird antelope looking things. They, uh, they can be, the, the females can be diamonds and a few others. But that's about it. That should get you a good lead on how this game works. I know it was a lot, but it, it, if you ever, if you ever get confused, there's a good chance that I talked about something in this video. And also, real quick, skills and perks, everybody, mind them. Whenever you go in here, read the description, please. Um, it's completely up to you what you pick on that. DLCs, buy them. If you even somewhat like the game, the game is way more fun with DLCs. Uh, the dog is a very good one. The bloodhound, it will help you track blood, uh, etc. There's a ton of other ones. I'm about to shoot this turkey with a 6.5. Not a very good example considering what I was just saying. But if you need money, tip is, doesn't matter what gun you're using, just shoot it. Like a turkey. If I use a 6.5 or like a... Freaking 30 out 6. Oh my god, he's flying over my head. See? <laughs> Stuff like this happens all the time. Hold on. Did I kill it? Okay, killed it. Um. <laughs> anyway. Stuff like this happens all the time. Um. Another thing, the game is updating constantly. Like, all the time. New maps, new DLCs. Uh, new maps, mainly. They come out with a new map literally all the time. So, yeah. Please, just stay updated with the game. Uh, Expansive Worlds live streams and stuff, and they have great live streams, so that's great. Uh, yeah. That should cover about everything. Uh, I can make an adv uh, like an advanced guide. If you want that, hit the like button. And I might. I just might. I haven't uploaded in a while, but that's okay. Thank you for watching this video. Please. Now, since you made it to the end of the video, I'll give you a little sneak peek of... The next video I have, and I'll give you a little hint of what it is. It involves bears, and also a new game that I will be playing on stream. So, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Bye. Goodbye.